Hello and welcome to the November edition of your Wells Connection. Christian love. It's something that faith in Christ produces in the heart of every Christian. But what does it look like on the ground? Today, one answer to that question, a story that begins in New York. All right, let's do this. We uh, wanted to invite you to an Easter service. It's uh, the next Sunday. We also have English classes, ESL classes. Queens, New York might look like an established community, but these neighborhoods are packed with newcomers to America. 40% here are foreign born. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. También tenemos uh, clases de ESL. People in transition are often open to the gospel. And that's why these Wells students from the Midwest are on the streets here. We just wanted to tell you about a uh, Easter service we have at Sure Foundation Church, right here on 65th. And uh, yeah, it's right there. Inviting the people of Queens to visit our local Wells Church. We just wanted to invite you to an Easter service we're having in a couple of weeks. There's info on the back. Anytime there's an opportunity to be able to go out and share Christ's love, it's it's kind of like a refocus. So I've just kind of fallen in love with opportunities to share God's love. That's just a really cool thing to have the confidence to be able to do that. And obviously that's the work of the Holy Spirit. So um, thanks be to him for that. Our church here is named Sure Foundation. The volunteers who came for about a week earlier this year were a big help to the ministry. They came out at a great time just before Easter. Um, there's, and it's just a natural opportunity to be able to share the gospel with other people. Hi, thank you. Inviting people to church was just one facet of an intensive mission effort here last spring. A plan that brought boots on the ground to New York because of this. When Hurricane Sandy devastated New York and New Jersey, Wells Christian Aid and Relief kicked into high gear coordinating Wells volunteers who trekked here from thousands of miles away to help people in need. Just the, the friendship, the fellowship, and the gratitude is, is just overwhelming. When something bad happens in the world, a tornado, an earthquake, a disaster, that can also be an opportunity for God's people to reflect their love and concern to people who are hurting. Reaching out with the saving gospel is the focus of our God-given ministry and sometimes the first step in sharing the gospel is showing that we care. And sometimes the best way to do that is with a chainsaw. The smile on their face, um, somebody asking me, why are you here? And I have an opportunity to witness. It's amazing. I just can't believe it in the way. <laughs> and so as we follow up and, and help people with cleanup and also show that we care, very often it gives us an opportunity to continue to share the gospel with those people in the future. The story was much the same in Oklahoma. After the devastating tornadoes, Christian Aid and Relief coordinated efforts to rebuild homes, rebuild lives. Now when I look at my house, it's a whole different thing. I see the Christian love all over that house and the overwhelming outpouring of that love. Not everyone has a chance to travel and help storm victims directly. And that's why Christian Aid and Relief has long had a multi-pronged approach, coordinating many different forms of help. God's people want to help people in need. They want to get involved. We're just an organization that serves as an instrument to help them do that. Coordinating disaster relief is just one part of the ministry of Wells Christian Aid and Relief. This ministry also reaches out around the world, offering fresh water, health care, and education to people in Africa, Asia, Latin America, and beyond. And in every case, these humanitarian aid projects have some way to build a bridge to share the gospel. To help build that bridge, humanitarian aid is always done in conjunction with the Wells congregation or mission. So we have an opportunity to show God's love face to face. We work through our people. Um, that way, that gives God's people an opportunity to get involved in the relief effort themselves. They get to reach out to their community and show that they care. 
While it might seem that the giving and receiving goes just one direction, the reality is very different. I guess when you come here you think, well, I'm going to do something for somebody. But you receive more than you give from the people. It's just amazing. Showing that we care is what Christian Aid and Relief is all about. In a world of self-centeredness, people who take the time to show their love for their neighbor stand out above the crowd. Others want to know why we'd help strangers thousands of miles away. It's a question we can look forward to answering. Christian Aid and Relief granted nearly $670,000 in disaster relief and humanitarian aid last year. Of that, nearly 300,000 was for our Wells Missions humanitarian aid projects. And that's not counting the value of thousands of volunteer hours from people like you, people reaching out with God's love to those in need. Well, that's all for this month's edition of your Wells Connection. Until next time, God be with you and grant you the joy of Jesus always.